hello uh home bakers and other bakers of youtube um it's been a while since i did an actual youtube video something weird came to mind about uh well it's actually not something sweet but it's gonna look like a sweet i'm just gonna show you what i'm gonna make here's a hint i don't know if this is cause my dad's really strict about me eating like protein and vegetables before I have dessert. Well, as he should be, but this isn't dessert. It's not? No, everything on this table is super healthy for you. How is that possible? Well, I've created some new recipes. Recipes that make all the food you hate look and taste like all the food you love. <laughs> Would you like some broccoli? That right there. This is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're gonna we're gonna fix Mrs. Claus's broccoli cake. But even though in the movie it looks like a cake, even though she said it's broccoli, it looks like it's actually a real cake. But I'm gonna I'm gonna remake that cake, but with actual ingredients, like without using sugar, powdered sugar flavorings, you name it. You know, the stuff that you use, uh, the important ingredients that you use for sweet cakes. So, for, so to begin, I'm going to wash these thoroughly. They're, bro they're broccoli. I'm going to wash this broccoli thoroughly to make sure they are free from any insects or dirt, if there's any dirt in them. And I'm going to chop them, mince them, so that way I can just put it in my corn flour mix. y'all now that i mince the broccoli i had a total amount of two cups so which is fine with me so i minced the broccoli put it in a bowl and you're gonna set it aside all right now we got your bowl what i have here is sunflower cornmeal some milk some eggs and some coloring and of course butter so the first thing get three cups of cornmeal one, two, and three. Two thirds of butter, room temperature. And if you don't like the way I'm gonna mix the butter into this cornmeal, forgive me as long as I'm wearing some gloves. I'm old fashioned. I much rather mash the butter and combine, combine the butter with the cornmeal with my hands. So, which is why I use, I like using my hands, but I'm wearing gloves on. So I just mince it. So I just mix the butter into the cornmeal until they are fully combined. Now that the butter and the cornmeal are combined, it's time to add in the wet ingredients. Just like making any other cornbread, you always add all of your wet ingredients into one bowl. One and a half cup of milk, one third of oil, four whole eggs, and a few swirls of the forest green gel food coloring to make it look green. And of course you mix it all that up, but if you have an electric mixer, that's good too. I'm, as, as I said before, I'm old fashioned. I just like doing it the old fashioned way. You just mix it all up until they combine. Ooh, look real green. That's the green it looks like on the movie, so. Yeah, yeah, you just mix it real good. It may look a little, you know, not like any other mix, but I like my cornbread moist, but it's gonna be in the form of a cake. All right, now that that's mixed, you add in the two cups of minced fresh broccoli. 
and you just fold that in with a spatula. <laughs> yeah, I spilled a little bit, but it's okay. And just keep folding until until I get some of the color. All right, now that the cornbread or slash cake is mixed, mix, mix, broccoli cake is mixed, it is in a six and a half inch round pan. Use a nonstick cooking spray or baking spray. Make sure it's vegetable oil. And I had a parchment paper at the bottom to make sure that it comes out quickly and without, you know, messing up. So I already reset the oven to 350 degrees and it'll probably be in here by 20 to 25 minutes. If you have multiple six inch pans such as this, you can, you can use them, fill them up halfway like so, and just put them in the oven for 20, 25 minutes. I'm only working with one, so which means it's gonna be longer for me. But anyways, you get the gist, you, you get the gist of it. Y'all, when I open this oven, all I smell is broccoli. All right, guys, now it's time to make the frosting, but with no confection sugar, no flavoring. Get a mixing bowl and put in 24 ounces of cream cheese. Scoop the cream cheese into a piping bag with an A1 tip. And here's the rest of the cream cheese to cover the cake. While the cakes cool in 30 minutes at room temperature. Now that these cakes are baked, it's time to assemble. Hey, this is Tierra from the future. Um, while you're watching me decorate this cake, to be honest, the cakes by itself tasting like broccoli. It's not, it's actually not that bad, but it tastes bad with the cream cheese. But if there are any other recipes for the cheesy part to make this cake, well, non-sweet cake, um, leave a comment below and tell me what, what did you use? Just want to let y'all know. Back to the video. y'all i'm gonna try it it looks good but it's not actually a cake if you get what i'm saying <laughs> okay and it looks like the cake from the christmas chronicles too but i couldn't find any spammers or some kind of candy she had on top but i was like yeah it's okay um but anyway it it, um, it it looks like exactly from the movie so Y'all pray for me because I don't like eating uh, cream cheese by itself. You know, it tastes good with the powdered sugar and other flavorings that make it taste good. But this is actually just a vegetable cake, pure vegetable. Okay, here we go. It's just I'm just going to take one small bite. Here we go. One, three, two, one. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> you didn't see it, but I spit it out. <laughs> Why did I make this? I don't know. I mean, I just like... I didn't want to do something weird, I guess, to see 
how would it, how things would go. But if you like broccoli and eating cream cheese by itself, you might like it. I don't know. You might not. Because I know I don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's because I just like sweet sweets. And, and to be honest, I got the presentation down. I mean, to make it look good. But tasting wise, it's not for me. But I'm actually glad. Excuse me. I'm actually glad I tried it. I would say this is the best thing I ever tasted, but I would be lying. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. So, uh, it's not a ten out of ten for me. It's a ten out of ten for the presentation, but tasting, bleh. So. <laughs> That's it for this weird video, and um, I hope you enjoyed it, but if you by any chance make it, I want to see if tag me by any chance, or comment, leave a comment, because I just love the way it looks, but it lost me on the tasting because it's pure broccoli and just cream cheese, salt, a little bit of salted cream cheese. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good night. See you next time.